Well, there are growing concerns around safety around the Rahima Musa Mother and Child Hospital after two incidents uh, took place there of hijackings and shooting, one around Christmas last year and one at the beginning of this year. Let's bring in the Houting Department of Health spokesperson, Mr. Motalatale Modiba, for more on this. Uh, spokesperson, good evening once again. I'm hoping that you can hear me clearly, as I would love to unpack uh, those two incidents uh, that happened at the uh, hospital, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, the one was around Christmas last year and the other uh, in January this year. Also, additionally to that, has there been any further incidents that you could possibly share with us? Um, we are not aware of uh, any other incidents. It's uh, those two. The one is uh, after Christmas. I think it was on the 20, um, around Christmas. And then the other one just happened now on the 27th of, of January. But obviously, um, those incidents, we don't look at them in isolation, given that mm -hmm. the facility is, uh, is in a particular community um, in, 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 in uh, Coronationville, uh, closer to West Bay and the other areas there. And we know that uh, just from the patients that we see um, over the weekend on, 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 on various, for various incidents, that the, the area itself is, is troubled in terms of um, crime incidents. And therefore, um, the, the, the hospital, because it's located within the particular community, it, it was obviously bound to happen that at some point we will start feeling the impact of um, what's happening around the, the facility. Hence, the call that uh, we have made to law enforcement agencies to actually um, reinforce whatever intervention that they have uh, in the particular area, because we, we, we see that it's starting to also have a negative impact um, on the facility, uh, the, 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 in terms of both our